domestically for that one. Swansea get it wide for Hodge. Support from Jenkins, deep cross the far post, Torpy header and it's a goal for Swansea City. The visitors scoring after 17 minutes and that really is against the run of play. But a superb header nevertheless by last year's top scorer. Taylor just got the nod on but Freestone came to claim. Flick on towards Taylor. Oh, and straight at the goalkeeper. Unfortunate for Rovers there. Of course, whilst they have the advantage of an extra man, they're trying to make that count straight away. Almost broke for Taylor. Might yet fall for Sterling or Stewart. Stewart left foot shot. Great save by Freestone. Browning now, but he skewed that horribly wide. Clark, header on. Taylor, great save by Freestone. Touch, did it go in by Stewart? Obviously not, might come now for Tilson. Shot charged down. Fine save initially by... Sterling, cross on the right. Oh, just flicked off Jenkins' head. Just eluding Stewart. Gurney now for Rovers, gets it to Browning, might try another shot. Flick on there by Taylor, and Bristol Rovers have equalised. Gareth Taylor just signed a new three-year contract and he celebrated in style. Ten minutes to go, Swansea won, Rovers won, Gareth Taylor the goal scorer. Well, it looked as though Browning was going to line up another shot. In fact, it may well have been an attempt on goal by the midfielder, but Taylor anticipated well, got a foot to it and poked it past Freestone. Stewart now for Rovers, left foot flicked off the defender, Taylor and Bristol Rovers are ahead, two goals in two minutes from Gareth Taylor and what a turnaround. And somehow ironic that the Welsh side are being undone by the Welsh under 21 international striker. Quite happy to try and defend the 1-0 lead. They've now got to try and rescue a 2-1 deficit. Brian Parkins misjudged that. And the header's gone in by Basham. And that's a disaster for Bristol Rovers. There was no danger at all. But Parkin completely misjudged the bounce of the ball.